up high in the cold mountain slopes of DR Winter Hill, a migration occurs every year. This valley is a treacherous, dangerous place. One miscalculation spells doom. Whilst this migration is partaken by several species, the species we are looking at today are the medics. Whilst the rest prefer rushing to the end, the medics take it slowly, and instead just crouch and wallow their way, whilst constantly calling for more of their species. Sometimes they are joined by completely different species. They are joined by an endangered black spy. Sometimes, disaster strikes. They are led by an elder, adorned in pink. Upon realizing what just happened, the elder stops his march and gazes at the landscape. He is bewildered by the loss of his companions, who lie dead at the bottom of the valley. The accompanying black spy, as well as the surviving medic, attempt to catch his attention. They must move forward, the march must have stopped, the migration must continue. But the elder seems to be incapable of letting go of his fallen comrades. After a while, the elder finally decides to continue with the march, first in silence, still mourning for the loss of his family, and shortly after, resuming his calls for other medics. They arrive at a checkpoint. This marks the end of the first half of the journey. The younger survivor celebrates, but the elder doesn't join in a celebration. Not yet, anyway. Once they hop into the cart that will carry them to the other side of the valley, the young one decides to once again attempt to celebrate with the elder, which agrees to celebrate as well, perhaps now finally recognizing that they may be safe. For a while, anyway. The journey isn't over just yet. A year later, we come back to the exact same location, this time to the other side of the valley. A different migration is taking place. The black spy is once again visible, and more medics jump out of the cart and proceed to wallow away. This time they are also joined by an engineer and a soldier. The engineer, unable to build his buildings, decides to instead stick to another group. And the soldier, usually a loud and aggressive creature, instead of attacking the medics, decides to join them. As if some sort of protector 
perhaps. The soldier screams, potentially to ward off any dangers. Their leader, just as before, is once again adorned in pink. They descend into a cave. In this cave exist two entrances to a maze. The soldier enters the top entrance, whilst the medics, as well as the accompanying engineer, take the bottom row. The soldier is the first to arrive at the end of the maze. He screams, perhaps in celebration, perhaps to ward off predators. He waits for the remaining medics. Wondering why they are taking so long, he goes back inside the maze, only to find them, safe and sound. They are traversing another very dangerous location. A chasm that can only be traversed by jumping across wooden beams. The soldier, unfortunately, has failed his jump and fell into his doom. By the end of the chasm, only three of the medics have survived, one of them the leader. They hear a call. Thirty seconds remain. They must hasten and finish their journey. They arrive at the hold, and they dive into the unknown depths below, marking the end of their journey. <laughs>